My first, my first fucking run. Oh no. That was Amira. That was all or her, okay? Are you sad? Yeah. Three forty four three oh six seventy six of the courthouse for a bench trial will be ten seven. Did you push the charges already in the MNT or? Um, no, no, no. Okay. All right. Don't worry. I'm gonna. Ooh. I'm gonna. I. Oh. Hi, we're gonna everyone. Save it. We're gonna save Hi. it all for the for the suit. Thank you. I'll uh I'll get rid of the car. I'll take care of it. Oh, okay. I'll go park it on the other side. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. right. Do you have keys? No, for some reason. Oh, is is that a new one? Hold on, let me get out. There you go. Thank you. Let's get you all settled in. Sounds good. Hello. Did you do bench trials? Um, yes. Hell yeah! Do you want to represent me? Whatever it is. Nice. Hey, Lauren, you can get off radio. I'll keep mine on. Okay. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Mr. Artson. Hello. Long time no see. Hello there, Ms. DuPont. How's it going? I'm doing all Let's right. Let's send some stuff over. All right. Oh, let me, let me remove your cuffs. Thank you. Here you go. Now go ahead. The child is too. I like Snow, man. Snow, right. I, I like Snow a lot, actually. I think he's a great cop. He, he's, I don't know, his, he, he's been throwing some shade at me quite a bit lately, though. Uh, I'm not sure what I did to him, but, but uh, I, I still think Snow is pretty cool. But he's done, he's done some stuff. Snow is not safe. No, he won't. He will not be safe. Not after the whole like having a a hostage and blocking off the uh, the Polito Bank. He's definitely going to be mentioned. But I do like Snow.
All right, so uh, for this one here, let's step over here real quick. Um, so for this one, I would say uh, just I, I since talk. you're pleading, well, since you're pleading guilty to like uh, basically three quarters of it or four fifths or whatever it comes out to, I'd say it's perfectly fine for you to give your uh, account of the events. Uh, and I think that your account of the events is the perfect description of why you shouldn't get disobeying. I'll just throw uh, throw the legal jargon in there as to uh, how I think it should be tied into the continuation of the reckless evading charge. So what do you think she's going to try and hit me on with the uh, disobeying part? Is that the getting out of the vehicle? Yeah, it's basically the disobeying is whenever she was uh, coming up to you with the taser and demanding that you get out of the vehicle. Gotcha. So arguably the point where you were like trying to wiggle the tires and try to get the car unstuck, that would have just been a continuation of the evasion, in my opinion. Uh, and then you attempted to comply, like, you know, you shifted the seats, tried to get out of the vehicle, uh, and you weren't disobeying, you were actually obeying at that point. Well, I so. mean, I was hitting the, I was hitting the gas and stuff because I was trying to, you know, get out, you know, I was trying to pull, you know, pull myself up. I wasn't moving. I was literally jammed. I couldn't, I couldn't move. And I screamed to her two or three times. Like I, I'm trying, I can't get out. I can't get out. I'm jammed. Yeah, I, I think that's. I think it's perfectly fine for you to waive Fifth Amendment and uh, testify on this one, since, you know, right. like I said, since you're already pleading guilty to the majority of it. Got you. They're uh, they're trying to catch Mr. Hollow up on things because they brought him in uh, literally 20 seconds ago. So. So, but they want this. They want this disobeying to stick because if the disobeying sticks, then that means, uh, in their mind, they had a good enough reason to tase you. So yeah, yeah, but they didn't. So it's it is what it is. Exactly. She literally said, "Like, um, get out, or I'm going to tase you." And then I replied, "I can't. I'm stuck. I'm trying. I'm trying." And then immediately tased. Just out of curiosity, is there how close to the vehicle was she? Uh, f six feet. Six, okay, so even if you were whispering Andy, she would have heard oh, you. Oh, she definitely heard me, 150%. Okay. All right, all right. How in the actual hell did and that car get there? on top of that, when I when I had fallen down the cliff, the other cop, right. DuPont, came Ready down, much. and she that said, is... sorry, it wasn't me that did that to you. Like, I, she knew I might like this. immediately I, I might let this that just, it was just, wrong. And they were making that's, comments that's skill, when I was man. down there, like, you know, probably shouldn't have done that type thing. Like, why would the cop come down and apologize about her, like, jumping the gun and tasing? Like, she said, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, I'm so sorry, like, it sucks. Yeah, yeah, you know? and that was, uh, that was DuPont that said all that? Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll tie that into the, the civil aspect of it, it's not terribly relevant to the, because basically what we're looking at is, uh, unnecessary use of force. Yes, so. but I mean, even if DuPont came down and said, like, I apologize on behalf of her, essentially, like, that must mean that they did something wrong, which should add more to the to the point that like why was i you know if 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 i had done that or if i had disobeyed purposely and i had done some shit then they would have never have came down and said those things you know what oh, i mean they'd have been like yeah we got you Hello, sir. Good to see you. but they're just trying to cover their own asses yeah yeah i uh i i would go ahead because uh judge artson is the type that will take that type of stuff into consideration um i'd go ahead and include uh you know the fact that you were attempting to comply and then the fact that you also tumbled down the hill because uh yeah if he perceives that there's excessive force he might, he might grant uh, you uh my, i have less time rest. ahead than i do yeah, behind in, ca I, in case I'm you don't way. know yeah we're on, all right i might promise. just die up here while we're no, please you're not, okay. you're not up, benjamin you're not i sent everything there. over to you if you want to send that over to your client I'm sorry about that. Okay. Now, I have before me... Uh, by the way, uh, 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 what's, uh, sir, what's, what's your name over there? Uh, Ototune Tyrone. Oh, shit. OTT. I didn't recognize you. Yeah, <laughs> it's the goatee. They call me GoTT now. All right. Yep. All right. All right, <laughs> Mr. Tyrone. Uh, I have before me the following charges. Criminal possession of a firearm class 2. Possession of, uh, notes uh reckless evading joyriding and disobeying of a peace officer uh 
these the uh, charges that were read to you down at MLPD? Yes, Your Honor. All right, very well. And uh, your attorney? Uh, I'm still learning all the new ones. His name's uh, uh, Benjamin. Oh. Benjamin Crane, Your Honor. Oh, Mr. Crane, hello there. Yeah, good to see you, Judge. I'm, I'm still I'm still learning all the new ones. I apologize. I'm not in the city as much as I used to be, uh, mostly because I don't want to get shot, robbed, stabbed, shot again, dropped off of a freight train, shot <laughs> again, stabbed one more time, and then lit on fire. So. I mean, if you uh, if you loudly Preach. exclaim, "I'm a judge from the trunk," it'll either get better or worse. There's Probably only worse. one way to find out. Probably worse. Anyhow. <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Tyrone, I'm going to go uh, top to bottom on these, and you let me know uh, guilty, not guilty, all right? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, criminal possession of a firearm, class 2. Guilty. Understood. Possession of a band of notes. Guilty. Reckless evading. Guilty. Joyriding. Guilty. And disobeying of a peace officer. Absolutely not guilty. All right, then I have guilty on all of those counts and uh, not guilty on the count of disobeying a peace officer. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this bench trial underway. Counselors, I would request that for expediency's sake, we focus in on disobeying a peace officer. Uh, and we, uh, you know, we assume, uh, that all of the others have been, uh, pled guilty to here. So we don't need to go into them ad nauseum unless they are in some way, shape or form, uh, relevant to the disobeying of a peace officer. All right. Yes, your honor. I understood your honor. Fantastic. All right, everybody that is going to be actually uh, one of the officers in the back. One of you not going to be uh, uh, testifying today. Um, they were all on scene. Everybody was on scene. All right, then I'll yes. take care of it. Uh, everybody that is going to be offering <laughs> testimony today, please raise your hand. Oh, I'm okay to do it if need be. Well, uh, were, were you there? Uh, no, you, uh, you, you were there. I was. Yeah. I'll, oh, I'll, I'll oh, just oh take... sorry, my bad. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. It's all right. It's it's been a while since you've been in here. Right. Anyhow, <clears throat> do you swear affirm the testimony about to give before my court today is truth, whole truth, nothing but truth, under pain of death. If I catch a line, I'm gonna kill your ass. Yes, I do. I do. I do. All right, now, Mr. Tyrone, I have to uh, uh, want, remind you, sir, that uh, if you do come up here and offer testimony, then uh, I will be asking you some pointed, direct questions. Uh, I expect you to answer them and be truthful, and you will have to waive your Fifth Amendment right. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, Your Honor. All right, very good. Should you wish to reassert your Fifth Amendment right at any point during my questioning, you may, but then I will throw out the entirety of your testimony from the record. Yes, Your Honor. All right, very good. Uh, Hallo, balls in your court. Sir, I'd like to call uh, Officer uh, Deputy Forcer. All right, step forward, Deputy Forcer. Let's hear what you got. And remember, we're working on the disobeying a peace officer. Wait, am, okay. I, am I questioning her, or is she giving testimony? We're, we're gonna. We're, we're trying to do this for experience. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Sorry. If there's any, if there's anything that like you need to like <clears throat> nudge her towards afterwards, like go ahead. Okay. I'm just gonna let her tell the story. Okay. So. Uh... After the AT seemingly ended where OTT's vehicle ended up inside the tree, on its side, I issued multiple warnings. I stepped out of my cruiser. He still had the ignition on, trying to unwedge his vehicle. I issued multiple warnings. Step out the vehicle or you're going to get tased. Step out the vehicle, you're going to get tased. Multiple times I shouted this at him, to which he ignored. Um, when he turned the vehicle off, I saw him fiddling with something in his vehicle, and then I tased him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. That is not... That That's is, about it? That is yep. not... What All the right. fuck? Uh, counselor, uh, anything like... Anything That's not how it went down. Questions you would have had for her? What the uh, fuck? Yeah, Deputy Forcer, did you give ample amount of time for him to comply with your orders? No! Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, uh. um... Uh, just, oh just to be clear, my did you, God! Did it what seem like the he was doing something fuck? with his hands, or that he was trying to do? Are something? you kidding you know, me? She's it's straight you. lying in shouting, court. You know, get out the vehicle. Get out the vehicle. Okay, and did it seem? In did a it, uh, was his car wheels turning? <laughs> his engine revving like he was still trying to unwind his car and get away? Oh yes, my God, dude! All right, uh, Mr. Crane, do you have any uh, pointed questions that you'd like to ask? Uh, to refute anything that uh, this... Councilor Hallow has, uh, has has brought forth? This is insanity. Uh, <laughs> not at this time, Your Honor. No. All right, four. So I got a couple questions for you. Uh, this car that I'm seeing, the, the, it's the one in the picture, correct? Yes. Oh, they got a picture. Was it a left-hand drive or a right-hand drive car? It was a left-hand drive vehicle. Left-hand drive vehicle. Was it severely damaged before it went down the hill? 
the some of the windows were smashed out. Mm -hmm. um, he'd taken quite a jump and tumbled down the hill. Yeah. And then wedged in the car. The vehicle was still mobile, though. It was still moving as he was trying to unwedge it. It wasn't All moving. Right. Um. <laughs> okay, very good. I, th what I, think, I think I'm all set. To, uh, I think I'm all set, deputy. Okay. This you you may step back. Wait, can I ask Thank one more you. question? Before she sat down, it or wasn't really... moving. It was swaying yeah, around it, the tree it, uh, at uh, most. Oh, no. Okay. Like, uh, I, I never mind. clarifying questions. Like I said, I'm not. Theoretically, according to what all the justices have put together, like we should just be telling stories and calling it a day. Every but, best trial is different, Your Honor. I don't exactly. know what's happening anymore. Well, I know. I'm, I'm trying to make the fact that you and Mr. Crane here useful uh, without turning this into a five-hour bench trial. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't nobody want that. I mean, except for me. I love that. But don't nobody want that. I was going to say, I also love that. So, <laughs> Anyhow, I like it. So, uh, Deputy DuPont is the exception that proves the rule. Oh, God. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm saying there's exceptions to every single rule, Deputy, and you, you just happen to be the one. I'm special. My mom says I'm special. You, your mother's very right. All right. Mm -hmm. Are you intending to step forward and uh, give testimony today, ma'am? Oh, uh, I mean, you want me to? That's... <laughs> we, we, we swore you in. If you have anything pertinent to add, come on up to my speaking table. Um... Okay. Why don't she just tell the truth? She should just tell the truth. That'd be pretty amazing. Hello, Your Honor. How are you doing Hello, today? Deputy. I'm doing fine. Just fine. All right. If okay. you have anything uh, pertinent to add to these... Uh, <laughs> she just, right all she needs to do is just say the truth. Yeah. I just want to tell and apply... How do I say that? Okay. I just want to say that I was um, right next to her when she warned him multiple times to get out of the vehicle and he was uh -huh. not... Uh, listening. It's, All right. No. Very yeah. good. Very and good. then, um, it's not that I wasn't. Yeah. I was. Listening. We gave him proper medical, like attention. We got medical and everything. Mm -hmm. We did everything properly according to every procedure. It was oh, really, okay. really great deputies. But very then, good. um, yeah, he was not listening. All right. It's, understood. It's just uh, Any question, Hallow? Your Honor? Uh, well, we'll see if Mr. Hallow has anything. Mr. Hallow, speak up, son. Oh, no questions. Mr. Crane? Uh, Deputy, can you also confirm that uh, at the time the vehicle was wedged in the tree and he was uh, allegedly disobeying orders, the, the tires were spinning, he seemed to be, uh, you know, pressing on the gas pedal and things oh, like that. Oh, uh, absolutely. Absolutely, uh, Mr. Crane. He was repeatedly until he got tased. All right. Uh, nothing else for this one, Your Honor. Uh, All right. I don't have anything Also else. not true. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Emma. You're welcome, Your Honor. Thank you, Deputy right. Broccoli. All right. Um, yeah. Trooper Snow, Officer, uh, uh, yeah, you, you, if you if you got if you got anything, Trooper, is it going to take say, four cops uh, lying? Please, I, either of you have anything. Please tell me forward. four cops ain't going to sit here and lie. I think you guys really covered everything. No, 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 not that far. <laughs> no, not that you far. You don't have to. You go to that one. Yeah, All right. Okay. You don't address me directly today. Oh yes, sir. Talk okay. in the microphone. Yeah. This is insane. Uh, test test. Oh, that's good lord, it's good. Uh, we gotta get Buddha back in here to fix it. Uh, that's that's Tony, Co Tony Corleone, it's not Buddha. Oh, that, oh right, it's Tony uh -huh. that does it. Buddha's the one that does all the sweeping and the moppings. All right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Judge Ardson. My name is Trooper Jackie Snow with the State Police. Skip ahead a bit, Jackie. Fast <laughs> for right. to repeat his uh, name for the record. Trooper Jackie Snow, oh sir. PA system be broke. <laughs> Sorry, give me that. So is the trooper, apparently. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry, sir. What was your question? I'm going to turn the microphone off for now. No, that's fine. If you have anything pertinent to add to these proceedings, please uh, 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 submit your testimony to the record, sir. Uh, yes, yeah, so I witnessed I wish, uh, Deputy Force. I wish we Deputy could Deputy literally Dupont, submit. Uh, give OTC multiple warnings to get out of the car. Uh, the, the vehicle did flip. He had ample time to communicate uh, his I issues did. and get out of the vehicle and place his hands in the air, but refused to and was tased as a result, sir. Mm -hmm. I even oh. said please. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could just, I wish I could show them mm -hmm. body cam footage. Right. 
I mean, Hello, it's, what you got? I streamed uh, it. Like, it was right there, plain oh, as I'm day. Gonna risky, so I'm probably going to get yelled at. Trooper Snow, is uh, Mr. Tyrone known to run away from police or resist arrest? Well, I'm yes. going to what object is, to that, that, to uh, do with anything? that question. Oh, go ahead. Uh, relevancy and attempting to use uh, Mr. Tyrone's past criminal convictions in relation to this proceeding. I've already admitted guilty to to that part of it. Oh, not resisting arrest shit, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I bet disobey. Is he known to disobey police? It's the same objection. I'm gonna sustain it. Even if I'm asking if he's known to? I'm not asking if he's been, been, been convicted of. I'm asking if he's known to disobey police. Oh my god, I'm gonna bro. sustain it at this time. <laughs> Go gay. Go gay. If he, you know, when Mr. Tyrone is here, you can ask him whether or not he's done that. Oh, bet. Okay, good. No questions then. Mr. Crane. Uh, Trooper Snow, how, how close to the vehicle were you? Uh, probably near. about five to ten feet, sir. No. Uh, so, so did you, uh, did you hear all communications between Mr. Tyrone and the other officers? Yes, I could hear uh, Deputy Forcer shouting. And did you hear Mr. Uh, Tyrone respond in any way? Actually, no, I could not. All right, no further questions. All right, thank you, Trooper. You may step back. I don't have anything for you. <laughs> thank you, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. uh, Fr Frank, do you have anything to add besides the uh... fact that you were there and you heard him yelling at him to get out the car? No, not really. All right, then if it's, if it's all the same to you, we'll move on. Yes, sir. I like to All right, move on. Fantastic. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Hallow, I'm taking it that that's the end of uh, prosecution. Yes, Your Honor. Very good. All right, Mr. Crane, Mr. Tyrone, uh, ball is in your court. Uh, Your Honor, can I uh, can I offer a brief legal argument on this one, or a uh -oh. point of legal clarification? Uh, sure. What you got? Uh, so the entirety of the reason that uh, this charge is being contested is because Mr. Tyrone has been charged both with uh, reckless evading as well as disobeying a peace officer. As has been testified by multiple police officers, uh, although the, uh, I don't know how the hell that car got in that position, but it's, uh, it's clear that the, uh, the wheels were still spinning, the uh, steering wheel was still being turned. Uh, and so the entire legal reason that this is being contested is because... Uh, Although there were directions for him to exit the vehicle at the time, he still would have been in, uh, basically in the uh, active pursuit, you know, the active reckless evading charge that he's already pled guilty to. Can I repeat uh, he, was, he, was attempting he, to use a, he was attempting to use a vehicle to escape uh, the, you know, lawful apprehension, so. All right. Um, you can in just a second. I want to hear okay. what Mr. Tyrone has to say for himself. That's a pretty solid legal argument. Not the one I would have gone for, though. Mr. Tyrone, step forward. Uh, should I just stick to my same Wait, story? Wait, I can't rebut the legal argument before you, he says you, it. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, just, yeah, just stick to what just, you've already okay, uh, given okay, me. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So I'm trying to get out, but I can't? It, all right. or, uh, exactly. I yep, trying to get out, but you can't. Uh, Mr. Tyrone, yep, shit that seems to get out. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome, sir. Um, so, yeah, uh, essentially, um, after my car had flipped... Uh, in a really weird angle uh, against the tree. Um, it is true that um, the officer uh, forcer um, had a taser and same with the other officer uh, Dupont uh, had tasers out. Um, it is true that she did ask twice uh, for me to step out of the vehicle and when she asked twice it was essentially right after each other. You know, get out of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Get out of the vehicle or I'm going to tase you. And then I replied, I cannot. I am stuck. I am trying to get out. I am trying. I'm jammed. I'm stuck. And at that point, she just tased me. And then as I fell down the cliff, because my body was convulsing, uh, Dupont came down and immediately apologized to me, saying that she wasn't the one who tased me. She is sorry. Because she knew immediately that what what had just inspired, That's uh, not true. conspired was it absolutely is true. It one hundred and fifty percent is. You came down all to right. me immediately. All right, let's keep it on. Let's keep it on target, please. I'm I'm actually up here telling the truth. All y'all are full of it. Actually, it's kind of crazy that I, it's taking four cops coming here and lie in front of the, front of the court after you put your hands up. 
and swore that you wouldn't. I'm telling you the truth, sir. I had no way to physically get out of that vehicle. I was trying. The officer could have came out, pulled me out of the, the windshield, could have done multiple ways. It wasn't like I told him, F Turn you. Glass panel. I, I had, I had, like I said. Quiet in the back. Like I had already admitted to, I had a firearm on me, but it was not drawn. It was in my pocket. I never once threatened them. I never once showed any any type of force that they would feel the need to to tase me or demobilize me. They just immediately did it. And then I fell down a cliff in the process. Hmm. Her Honor, can I just put a word here? Well, ho hold on here. Uh, ho hold yeah. on here, Deputy. Okay. We're going to allow, just as we did with the others. Mr. Crane, do you Absolutely. have anything, uh, any questions for your client to kind of direct his testimony at all? Absolutely, Your Honor. Uh, all right, keep just... it brief, please. Uh, Mr. Tyrone, just to clarify, you did verbally uh, express that you were not able to get out of the vehicle, correct? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, I did. And uh, the position of the vehicle, the driver's side was pinned down? Yes, sir. All right. Were you fiddling with anything inside of the car? I mean, I was trying to get out. I was moving, you know, moving around. I, you know, I was jam. I was scared. I was trying to move out of the vehicle. So, yeah, I was to some degree trying to get out and comply with what they were saying, but... I just couldn't move. I was jammed, and I had told him that. And uh, that and that that would be why you shifted to the passenger seat. Y yes. All right. And uh, approximately how much time, uh, whether it be in minutes or seconds or what have you, did they give you to comply with that order? Um, I was given about maybe five to seven seconds after the second time that she shouted, "Or I'm going to tase you," which I replied, "I cannot move. I can't move. I'm stuck." All right. No further questions, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Hallow. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just ask the same question I asked before they told me to ask you now. Are you known to disobey police? Uh, once again, I'm going to uh, object to that as it's attempting to use Mr. Tyrone's past in the current proceedings. I'm asking um, if this... he's known to disobey. I'm not asking if he's been convicted of it. And this time I'm going to overrule you because on a cross he can try to assassinate your client's character. Very fair. Understood, Your Honor. You want me to answer that? Yes, you have to answer that one, sir. Am I known to disobey? Yeah. No. Oh. I'm actually a very, very understanding person, and I treat the cops very, very fairly. They seem to uh, not do the same Your for Honor, me. Can I can I note that he has two convictions on his record? I'm not using this for now, but I'm just saying that he is lying under oath. He has two convictions for disobeying a peace officer on his, on his record. All right, but you asked him a very subjective question. And I he asked if he's known very... to disobey police, in which he had, he just said he's not, but he has two records, of, two charges of it. I understand that, but perhaps uh, in in uh, Mr. Tyrone's mind, only two convictions is not enough to be considered known for something, Mr. Hallow. How many times uh, how have I been... Court... Sorry. The court will no the court will note it, uh, and will uh, of course take it under advisement. Uh, Your Honor, may I ask how many convictions in total I have in the city? I don't, don't I'm not going to sit here and count sorry. that. <laughs> exactly. So if you're saying there's two accounts to, I don't know how many times I've been arrested. I would say that I'm not known for disobeying police officers. Okay. So since you brought that up, are you a well-known felon and criminal in the city? I'm a well-known musician. Uh -oh. Well, that's not what I asked. Well, I'm telling you what I'm well well known as, as what one of people want to, uh, you know, whatever their opinions are on me, I'm telling you what I'm famous for, and that's for making music. You're famous? 11-time, actually 12-time platinum singing songwriter. I didn't even know he wrote music. All right, uh, oh. Your Honor, uh, I, I got... Just... What? Oh. Did you have I a still wanted to say something, too. Don't Did forget. you have a question uh. for him? Well... I, uh, can I speak okay. to OTT, or I need to talk to you directly, Your Honor? If you have a question uh, for Mr. OTT, you may ask it. It's not a question. It's more like explaining, because I feel like there is assumption here. I want to apologize after seeing you flip off the hill, and that's why I said I was sorry, because you were hurt and injured. Well, then why would you then, pr then tell me, I'm sorry, I'm not the one who tased you? 
Well, I just wanted to make it clear that it didn't tease you. No, and I said, I no, was it, sorry. It wasn't, you were bleeding down no, on the it, That wasn't the tone at all. It was like, hey, it all wasn't right, we'll me that. Right. We're not here to argue that. Uh, well, she right. started That's, the argument. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I understand everybody that is so far off base from what we're here for that we're going to we're gonna cut it there. Oh, that way. sorry, Your Honor. Nope, that's fine. It's fine. I just, it, this, this is going to devolve into trying to figure out who apologized to who. Okay, Mr. Tyrone, did you, um, did they respond to you whenever you said that you were stuck? Say that, like, ask did, that question did they, again? Did they, give you, did they give you any kind of response whenever you said you were stuck? Yeah, they responded with shooting me with a taser. A verbal response. I didn't hear anything. They just shot me with a taser. All right, Mr. OTT, I have a question for you. If you're done, Mr. Hallow. Yes, yeah. Your Honor. I have something to say, sir, if you don't mind. Is it pertinent to this? Uh, it is. Yes, all sir, right, yeah. then I will hear it. Uh, DuPont is Canadian. She apologizes all the time, sir, for literally nothing. So Trial! I don't think that should be oh, any kind of importance to the court. the court. The court will note that she is, in fact, Canadian. The court noted it. Thank you. Thank you. Note it. Yeah. All right. Um, Mr. Tyrone, were you buckled in at the time of this crash? Um, I, I was at the time of the crash. That's why I didn't, right. uh, you know, fly out of the windshield. All right, all right. All right, uh, I appreciate it, uh, Mr. Tyrone. I have no further questions for you. You may step back. Thank you. All right, I have a question for the officers on the left. Uh, and this Wait, which is... one's on the left? This one? All of them, God damn it! I said, oh, oh your left. Oh, your left. My left, yeah. Y your my right, right, my left. Uh, yeah, they're all to your right either way. Yeah. Hello, I, come I apologize. I forgot that I needed to do it to the your right, my left kind of thing. Anyhow, hoot, um, hoot, hoot. in relation to Mr. Uh, Mr. Tyrone saying he, he was stuck and could not exit the vehicle, who amongst you heard him say that? The only thing I heard was wait. The only thing I heard was the wheels spinning. That's, that is such a lie on so many. No. That, I mean, if she heard wait... And which I didn't even see. All right, Mr. Hallow, you this said you insanity. wanted to try and refute Mr. Crane's uh, legal <laughs> argument. <laughs> these guys! Yeah, like, he brought up the whole, are like, these guys uh, like, he's saying uh, that uh, they got charged with reckless ev uh, evading are and you fucking the, uh, disobeying a peace officer. We didn't get to argue the other charge or even talk about it, so I don't see why that's going to be able to be brought up if we weren't even able to talk about the entire situation in its, in, like, in its entirety. So, had we been able to go through everything, we'd be able to prove why Didn't she say she didn't hear anything, and then now she's saying she, she, she heard weight? That, yeah, yeah, she changed uh, that up a bit. What the fuck? Yeah, he's that arguing that, we should, that he shouldn't be charged with both, but we didn't get to uh, talk about the other charge at all. That is case. a... Dude, right, I'll take that under advisement. That's a very I'm good the type of person that'll tell you when I did some dumb shit. These guys are straight well, up lying. caught in a recess. Give me about five minutes to uh, go over all this. Yeah. Thank you, oh Your Honor. What the hell? Who put a microphone back there? Oh, he's Sorry, always I hiding it. that a, one. It's a tie clip. Yeah. Microphone, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah well, we'll see how it comes back. All right. If uh, if the charge uh, sticks, it weakens the civil case. It doesn't get rid of it, though. And you so. never reached out to him on key I can't believe how much they, they flat out lied here in court as cops. Frank. Like, don't they have uh, dash cam footage the that they can the they can use to show the Frank, the events? Frank, the whole thing. No, unfortunately, they took the dash cams out of the police cars. I think about a year ago or so. Yikes. It was uh, honestly making things uh, a little haywire. It's so. the judge to decide. I mean, Did somebody's got to gotta keep the cops honest. You know what I mean? Like, if they're supposed to be telling the truth, it's one thing for yeah, me to was... lie, but it's another thing for them to just flat out lie and then all we come can't. in here together and try and like get a story together. Can you, can you just say uh, the, DO, the DOJ's been doing a uh, pretty good job of uh, keeping them honest recently. Especially, uh, especially when it comes to a we'll see if that something. see if that continues. All right. Well, Frank witnessed it. The whole thing. Speaking of which, there's one of my other clients now. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, I actually need to talk to you once this uh, bench oh, trial okay, wraps no up. I would never do that. That's only happened once, and I, I was suspended for that. Okay, stop bringing it up, Larry. Well, hit that follow button if you guys haven't hey, already. Can you post your availability for your client, please, so we can get that court case moving? 
he, uh, uh, for you know, he's, he's just doing for the he's Zuckerberg doing. one, or yeah, he, he I've I've already posted my availability. Yeah, no, on that his one. availability because he's he's being lazy. <clears throat> oh my god! Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to him. I reminded him yesterday that right under that he doesn't uh he can't remember his login to you know get on the docket. I got uh, that explains a lot. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll speak with him about it <laughs> after <you>. this. <clears throat> All right, order in the cult room. I will have that man press charges too. All right. After review of the circumstances surrounding the car being wedged, uh, taking into consideration that the car was in fact wedged on the driver's side, uh, and understanding that there may have been issues with the seatbelt buckle and everything else, uh, at this time the court is going to find Mr. Tyrone uh, not guilty yes! of disobeying yes! the uh, yes! police officer. It is the opinion of the yes! court that you know when a car is that badly damaged and on its side. Uh, an Let's go. Can and uh, sometimes Let's go. get lodged in such a fashion that they're unable to get That's out. That's a dub. And had he, 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 he could have absolutely been trying to comply with the orders of officers. Might have found himself completely unable for any such justice to is served, man. The seatbelt off. He's trying to climb up and over it. Uh, trying to get out from the passenger side, this, that, the other thing. The liars got so, caught. Uh, we're going to find him not guilty. Woo! Civil now, case. Mr. Tyrone, because you did plead guilty to the other counts, uh, those will uh, remain. You are, therefore, sir, guilty of criminal possession of a firearm class 2. Let's go. Of abandoned notes and reckless Let's go. Dating. Uh, taking into consideration Let's go. the amount of time for this particular I'm pretty uh, much undefeated trial, at this point as well as uh, any time that may have been uh, necessary for uh, you know getting your injuries uh, looked at after you got uh, into a car accident there uh, we're going to sentence you to 10 months and the associated fuck this guy's awesome fine. thank you your honor that is the ruling of the court at this time court is adjourned no right. problem OTT I'll yank you through the door handle next time okay don't worry. Yeah. Hey, yeah, thank you for opening goes. that door for us. Hey, no problem. Much hey, there is no windshield. Go take a look at the pictures. You could have just pulled me out of there. No, I'm just going to pull you out of cars, sir, from now on. It's very no. clear. Hey, tase, we'll tase me out of cars. No, sir, uh, I'll pull you out. Where I'll is he going? Out. We need to hey, send him. Hey, yeah, 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 the door is locked either way. Hey, OTT, you can't, you can't. Is it not? I mean... Have you yeah. ever been in a car accident? What what he's saying is in one hundred and ten percent reality. Um, no, I just have a question that he was saying. He, he sat there and said that they should have pulled him out, or they could have helped him Frank, out, or something like that. Did. But I don't. I was wondering if that came into consideration. Right, Sorry, Mr. can you repeat the, the time and fine? I'll send him. Uh, oh, ten, oh. 10 months, three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Yeah, um, I was just, come like, here, I'm RTT. completely fine with it at this yes, point. It's over and done with. Right. I don't really care. Um, I'm just safe. wondering if it came into consideration because he sat there and said that they could have pulled him out, but yeah, he's sitting there saying he couldn't get out himself. Fifty dollars fine. And no, so, but would you like me could. to bring you? To um, my book? issue is he's just sat there threatening to sue me. So I am very grateful for I paid off all my cars. Um, for tasing him. Yeah, you. for tasing him. That's the reason. I kind of like to put you in cuffs. I don't. I mean, he he can he can try, but if you want my legal opinion, he doesn't have a leg to stand on. You discharged a firearm in the legal course of your duties. Honestly, yeah, I'm just gonna go yeah, with um, what we called that. Yeah. Just because, that word. just because he wasn't guilty of of disobeying a peace officer, because I believe the circumstances caused a situation where he could not get out of the car, does not mean that what you did was wrong. You have to stack everything else you knew about Whoa. what had just happened on top of it. And I would say Whoa. that you were completely in the right in discharging a less than lethal firearm at that time. What what's mm -hmm. it called? I keep forgetting the term that's used whenever somebody does something within their lawful duties. You just said it. She she, she did it within the no. There's within a term the course mm -hmm. of qualified immunity. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. yeah we, you, qualified immunity can and probably will apply. Like that's just a legal opinion from me. Yeah, because it's it's possible for everybody to be right in a situation. Believe it or not. Mm. Yeah, no, this guy, this guy, he he's he's got it out for me like he's been he's been after my badge for a very long time so any opportunity he's gonna try and screw me up. like i was happy to fucking walk yeah. away without the disobeying charge i was happy with that but then he was like i can't wait to take all your fucking money and it's like uh well, well lauren if you want my my professional legal opinion and this is somebody that's been doing it for a hot minute you got nothing to worry about all right i'll take it personally don't worry about it no how dare you say that i'll take the case and then, uh, are qualified immunities, oh, yeah. are there hearings before the court date, or is that what you do at the court date? 
I, I need to, to talk. I, I, when when well, something like that That's comes exactly. up, I would prefer to just do a hearing no. uh, and, and not oh, waste everybody's I'd time. Say, you know? Yes. Um, anyway. You forgot the joyriding. Oh, I shit. I think I have to do something. You going to the funeral, by the way? Just <laughs> Apples is dead! Wait, do, I just put it, do I just put it on there? Just, I don't know. Shit. I don't, you know what? Every once in a while, the judge has to up. It's still going to be 10 months, $3,450. It is. Yes, yes, yes. Call if it a you day. could do that with yeah, us, that'd do, be great. Do I keep That's... the joyriding on there? Uh, yes. Yeah. Keep, keep it on guilty there. Just keep okay. pled guilty to it. So leave it all in there. If you show up, uh, you bank error in, in his favor. You know, it's just like Monopoly. Sometimes the judge yeah, doesn't screw up. Yeah, exactly. Just get literally. But yeah, no, he's like, um, gonna, he's fucking threatening to sue me and shit. And I, I yeah. you know what, like, oh, four. That, last time I was in court with OTT, the thing is, like, I have to sit there and listen to him lie on Eight the hours. stand, say that I'm a shit cop, that I don't know how to do my job Eight properly, hours. this, that, the other, and I just can't, I, I it, it just gets under my skin. Just, yeah, it's kind, kind of like every know. officer saying fuck the DOJ know. all the time, ain't it? I don't say that. No, no, I'm not no, saying you do. <laughs> I'm not saying you do. I mean, it's up with the deadly thing, like, that stings, but, but it is what it is, yeah. and I get it. Uh, Lauren, I don't just know. do me a favor when you write this just, report, just, just go into every minute detail piece. you can find. Yeah. Will um, do. Just, just write, a, write a good report. You got a fantastic yeah. uh, 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 advocate here in Halo. And like I said, if you wanted my legal opinion, and, and I won't, I won't take the case now because I'm giving it to you. Give you my legal opinion. Mm. You discharge your firearm um, in the course of your duties. He, you had every right to do so um, because you know you believed. Because it has yeah. to be what you believed at the mm. time. You believed at the time and had every reason to believe at the time that he was not complying with your orders. Yeah. All right. So what now, you're telling me is I can call you as a witness. You could call me as an expert legal uh, Fuck yeah. uh, opinion. Oh my I god. Suppose. Yeah. You know, yeah. the the thing is, he's probably gonna try and argue like the damages and stuff. Because the thing is, I tased him when he was in mm. the driver's seat. After yeah, but... I tased him, after I tased him, he moved to the passenger seat and then climbed right. out the vehicle and fell down a cliff face. Right. The thing is, so... he's not gonna like convulse upwards. That's not how gravity works. He would have fallen onto the goddamn door. I don't really want to deal with that particular that, argument, but I know, I know, I know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Like, <laughs> but he literally. <laughs> But the thing is, he literally like it was like know, he, it was like he hadn't he, been tased at all. He you know? had such a muscle spasm. He farted real hard, came out the car, and fell down the cliff. Yeah, I got it. Also, like, I can't talk to you. Yeah, sure. Um, can anyhow, like I said, my expert legal opinion, so, you're fine because, uh, like I said, it, it it has to be what you believed at the time, and you believed you were doing the right thing. There was no um, there was no ill will. There was no kind of. Uh, uh, desire for you to harm or to go outside your duties. There was no spirit of oh. vengeance upon you, at least not that I can see. So, given what I what I know from what I've heard today, yeah. uh, although you were incorrect in in that charge, uh, in my legal opinion, mm -hmm. be based on circumstances, you were not uh, incorrect in discharging your firearm. Like I said, yeah. it is possible for all parties to be right in a given situation. Yeah, it's just the thing is, like he was still moving, like he was. Like still operating the vehicle, yeah. like it was. It was. I mean, still... have you ever, have you ever tried to climb out of a flipped or or, or, no, or sideways was, vehicle? He was trying to drive. He was still trying yeah. to drive the vehicle, and then when he stopped, like he was well, fiddling, and you know, we found a gun it's... on him. So you know. All right. Well, so not, well, like I said, all uh, it what 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 you described to me could have been uh, from somebody trying to climb out of a vehicle that was, you know, uh. It, impaled upon its side there so yep could have been, could I, have been him I fiddling have... the belt or popping oxy who knows who yeah, knows it could, it could have been we don't know but in the instance uh i'm i'm at least going to give somebody the benefit of the doubt that they were trying to climb out the car mm. and couldn't yeah yeah no i get that i get that it's uh I'm I'm okay with it. I just I'm just nervous that it's gonna fuck me in the future. Cause again, I'm happy I'm happy arguing those charges. I was okay yeah. getting rid of the disobeying charge, but of course he wants to take it. You know, he he then starts threatening me with you know fucking suing me and shit. It's like well you know at least if this is on the record then. I don't think he's got a leg to stand on for that. Like mm. I said, just because I disagreed with the use of this charge does not mean I disagreed with the actions that you took. I think you're fine. Hmm. 
like I said, it's it's possible for all parties to be right. And in this instance, in my opinion, mm. at least all parties are right. So you're fine. Also, you should know, I, I am BCSO. I am, I'm very, very aware of how it is to climb out of a flipped vehicle. Mm, I know so, all too so, well. So am I. I've, I've climbed out of many, I've climbed out of flipped vehicles, side vehicles, vehicles that have, have, have ended up in places they really not ought not have, all kinds of stuff. Mm. Time. So, I was in a tree yesterday. And believe it or not, I've gotten stuck too. Mm. On ones on their sides. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a very normal thing for me. Again, you know, this. Uh... Anyhow, oh. I think Eugene wants to talk to me, uh, uh yeah. Juan, so I'm gonna go see what's going on, oh, alright? Okay, I got reports. Around. Don't, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Alright. I can't do anything. I'm just interested. Hello. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll let yes, him know. Yes, uh... Yeah. Uh... Hey. Oh, you I, 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 see, the thing is... The thing is... Dealing with OTT, I avoid him like the fucking plague. I avoid him like the plague, because every time, every single time, he gets up on that well, stand and he not. just calls me a shit oh. cop. Ah, uh, yeah. And it, yeah, he'll do that. Yeah, but it's just it nasty. Happened. So he was found not guilty of uh, disobeying a uh, order from a police or a peace officer Why? because he uh, he was he was stuck in a car and we should have given him more time. Basically, I apparently we should have, we should have yanked him out of the car, which you know I feel would have been kind of powerful personally. But all right, if that's what they want, it's all good. Mm. It's... Okay, all right. I'm gonna Charge! start escorting just now. Charge! What's up? I'm gonna start escorting people out of cars. Don't now. you dare do that to me! No, no, don't. I'll pop you, you upside no, the head. The, the angel, I'm don't actually do that. Oh my I'll god! I'll pop you upside the head, they, angel. If they claim they're stuck, get the jaws alive. Get them out. You can't stop me. What's up, guys? I don't know where. Yeah, no, 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 not like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. No! Uh -huh. Can you ask them? Oh, Can't you? Right, you want to ask everybody for everything? Then you will tell them just take a pop off and stuff like that. Sure, I'm going to get a... I'm going to cry. Yeah, yeah, sure. What's up? Why do you have to do that? 